Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys an in-depth look at the Air Jordan 3 Lab 5s and this is a special look-see colorway, AKA you're not gonna be able to find these anywhere. So for those that don't know, back in the day, well, I wouldn't say back in the day, but like like 10 years ago, Jordan Brand was doing the Lab series. You had the three Lab 5s, you had the five Lab 3s, you had the 11 Lab 4s. There was a different stuff from the Lab series. They had different colorways and things that went along with that. But you know, when it comes to creating any new shoe or even any retro of a different shoe that's already came out from the past, there's always samples out there and there's look-see samples in different colorways and then they come to the final verdict and they get the versions that they want to release to the public. Well, this one was a part of the project and it actually never ended up coming out. So when you look at the original three of the three Lab 5s, you had the black and infrared colorway, you had the predominantly elephant print with the blue, and then you had the black and metallic colorway, which is very interesting because I personally think if they was gonna do black metallic, I understand why they made the sample. This probably should have been the one that came out. But my guess is it probably cost too much for them to make this shoe and the masses and create the profits that they needed so they probably decided to go with the other colorway because it was less work on the upper when it comes to the materials and creating this silver and maybe it flakes I don't know I haven't worn these because they're not my size either way I'm sure there's a ton of different reasons as to why they decided not to go with these just on the financial aspect but luckily I got my hands on these shoes years ago and I'm finally pulling them out of the archives so you guys can see I brought them to a couple sneaker cons over the past year just to show some people but now you guys get a full in-depth look so let's go ahead and start going over over all the details of this shoe. Oh yeah, yeah, before I forget, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Looking at the outsole, you have your classic Air Jordan 5 bottom. Now this is gonna be a retro, not an OG style, which means what? You're gonna have the Jordan branding here instead of the Nike branding, but you got something similar to your metallic Air Jordan 5. So you're gonna have your translucent here with the black jump man, and then you're gonna have your black rubber here around the toe, and then your translucent here with the hair and bone traction on the back end around the heel. Now going up to the midsole right here, you're gonna have all black with the metallic silver, similar to your metallic Air Jordan 5s. And then on the upper, you're covered in that silver surfer, whatever you wanna call it. I wish these were 3M. If this was 3M, that would take it to a whole nother level. Speaking of that, it kinda reminds me, even though this is before that, remember the college pack Air Jordan 5s? How it had like that wet look to it over the suede and you could see the elephant print all throughout the shoe? This gives me that same type of vibe. If you wanna watch that full review, I have a review of the 5s or other colorways on my channel. You you guys can watch after this but either way just gives me that you know different premium feel and I like how they went about this approach so a couple things they did with this shoe it's kind of seamless but it is kind of not and it has like raised elements with embossed elements and different things like that around the shoe so instead of having like multiple pieces on this shoe it's like this big stamp thing on the majority of the sneaker and then you have more pieces around the back end. Now, typically on the Air Jordan 5, you have a whole nother leather piece that wraps around the toe that's stitched in right here. Well, this is kind of actually like stamped in and then raised around that line so you can still see where the toe element is, but at the same time, it's actually not an additional piece. Now, continuing on with that, if you look right here around the toe at the top end where the laces meet, typically there's a bunch of stitching right here and you can see the other panel or where the vamp goes and that's stitched in there as well. But on here, it's actually embossed with just a line, well actually two lines, that go around the toe from the outside of the foot all the way to the inside of the foot. Now taking it to the center of the foot, they did the same thing. It's kind of an embossed line that goes around and then they have the perforations where the nets typically are. You have that translucent net and we actually see the translucent net with the mesh right here on the center of the tongue, which we'll get into a sec. But if you look on the side, on the outside and on the inside of the foot, it's actually the same materials. Everything is gonna be embossed and then stamped with the punch holes right there where the nets typically would be. So again, another switch up, but this is also similar to the original three releases that came out to the public. Now, I used to have all three of those colorways back in the day, but again, like you guys know, I had to get rid of some shoes so I could buy some real estate. And those were some of the shoes that were didn't make the cut, to say the least. Shortly after that, I ended up getting these, which was crazy, but I might consider getting at least one of the pairs back. I kind of want that elephant in blue colorway back in the collection but again i'm not in a crazy rush that's a whole nother topic so now these come standard with a pair of all black flat laces they're a little bit more premium than normal and you can see a lot more texture into them i thought they were waxy originally when i first saw them but they're actually not wax laces and then going to the lace lock right here you have a silver or i'd say more of a gray type lace lock within and then the bib right here is going to be more of a smoky black 
on that area. Now on the tongue, you're gonna be covered in that same exact material, and then you're gonna have a silver jump man in the center of the tongue as well. And going to the back end of the tongue, premium leather i love how they went about this again similar to the release and then for that element it says three at the top end and then it says el for i'm assuming elephant print and then just below that it says 19 dot 88 so when it comes to like different elements you know like when you was in chemistry class and you saw the different stuff like that overall i think there were a lot of cool aspects especially the box the box was really clean as well i think honestly like that release was fire like in my opinion i, I love the release now this part again elephant print and then below that 1988 which means what air jordan 3 came out in 88 you get where we're going here so i love how they have those little details on this shoe for all the sneaker wizards out there now continuing on with the inside of the collar right here you're gonna have that black material and then when it comes to the sock liner that's gonna be an all black with a silver jump man so that's a pretty good look at all the details of this sneaker again sorry that i don't have <laughs> the original releases anymore might consider getting some back like i said but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section if this would have came out to the public would you have gone after him in that time because that was about 10 years ago shoe game was way different then than it is now and then also if these were to come out now would you go after these in current time let me know down below in the comment section is this some crazy grail that's worth thousands of dollars or is this a shoe that could have easily went to outlets and nobody cared about so that's gonna do it i have a full playlist curated with a bunch of samples and pe's inside of it so make sure you guys go check that out after this one and if you guys want to see any other reviews again Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're on the road to a million subscribers still. I don't know when we're gonna get there, but we're gonna make it happen. All right, y'all. I'm out. I would never let you down in my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only